Modifying edible mesh objects using sub-object levels. So first let's put a box in here. And I'll create a box. And then I'm going to convert it. I'm going to right click and convert to an edible mesh. Once I have it as an editable mesh, I can come up, hit the plus sign in the modifier a tab and pick on each one of the uh, sub-objects, the, the vertex, the edge, the face, the polygon, for example. I'll select them polygon and then I can just pick which objects I want, in this case the polygon. Now, to edit these things, uh, if I want to pick more than one, I can hold the control key down, right? I want those three, I can hit those and so I can pick as many as I want. Next, to edit them, I have a couple of choices. If I come up and I do select and move, all right, so now I can move this object by pulling on the move gizmo, okay? And so I can stretch things around very easily. Um, I can also go to the select and rotate and now I can grab it by the gizmo and rotate this gizmo. All right, and I can change then in any one of my axes that I want. Okay, and I can also go and select and scale uniform. And so now I can change the size of this as much as I need to. So the you can do a lot of things based on whatever uh, sub-object level you do and you choose one of the three options of select and move, select and rotate, or select and uniform scale from the main toolbar and you can uh, do a lot of editing. You can also choose the different edits from the edit geometry rollout and of course you can always go to modifiers and in the modifiers you can do various things as well so um, but you'll find a lot of them just with the three here in the toolbar uh, can do a lot of uh, unique editing with the edible mesh using our sub-object levels